All new tonight, the Hidalgo County Juvenile Boot Camp experiencing a shortage of funds. CBS 4's Ashley Custer tells us how the county is trying to resolve that issue. Earlier this week, Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court dipped into its general fund to transfer thousands of dollars to ensure that costs and expenses from its juvenile boot camp program were taken care of. We have been transferring in this past Tuesday. We transferred in $330,000. Um, we still have to see what the rest of the year looks like. This year, the boot camp was budgeted for about $2.1 million, but it came up short on funding due to issues meeting capacity. Full capacity for the program is 40 kids. The revenue that comes in is for those 25 or 26 juveniles that are there, but you know we're still functioning at full operation for 40 juveniles. Richard Garza, the facilities administrator at the juvenile boot camp, tells CBS 4 News that the kids who are ordered to come through the program do so based on the recommendations of the judge presiding over their case, after which the teen has to meet certain criteria to be entered into the program. They can also be ruled out as a candidate if they have special mental or medical needs. At that point, they are sent to another more suitable rehabilitation facility that can assist that child with their individualized needs. We have heard a lot of success stories. We have a lot of parents that are very thankful um, for being to put their kids through this program. So it's certainly something that we want to keep. We want to have it local. It's an asset to have a local program versus having to send them elsewhere. That can be very costly. Reyna says the county is not cutting the program, but it is seeking new possible sources of funding. Well, we, we certainly would want our revenues to increase so that we have to transfer less funds from our general fund into it. Um, and that's why we have been looking at options such as, you know, can we have uh, juveniles from other areas coming in. However, she says those options are still in the early discussion phases. In Hidalgo County, Ashley Custer, CBS4News and ValleyCentral.com.